massive success of Supercar Fest The Runway in 2021, we are back in 2022 with an even bigger and better event now across two days. at Supercar Fest The Runway at Cywell Aerodrome. So what can you expect? More supercars, improved viewing area, big screens, live auction and much more action. Due to popular demand, the first point hypercar zone has expanded to over 50 hypercars, rarely seen on the road. Once again, the runway event will see supercars go head to head. The speed trap will record their speeds shown on the giant screen next to the start line. Phil, it's been a very, very smooth event when it comes to getting those incredible cars up to the start line. Talk to us about what the process is in order to keep everyone safe. Well, as you can imagine, there's quite a lot goes on in the background in terms of planning, in terms of timing, scheduling, and making sure everybody's clear on the roles and responsibilities of the marshalling team. So we have eight different marshals in different parts, all coordinated by the chief marshal, who gives us all the instructions over the radios. We, he tells us what he wants, when he wants it, and we follow the instructions. It seems as though everyone has been following the rules. Is that the case? Um, we've had a very, very well-behaved set of people today. But as always, there's always one or two exceptions <laughs> um, that need dealing with and have been dealt with. But yes, in general, we've had a very good uh, set of uh, customers through here today. And that's why you need a good marshals team, right? Absolutely. the founder of Supercar Fest. Mark, tell us, how does it feel right now? We're standing at the start line, there's so much going on. What is going through your head? A lot of adrenaline right now. I mean, just seeing all these people and an event like this come together. This has been a year in the making once again. Last year we had COVID to deal with. We're now here again, there's thousands of people. We've got hundreds of supercars. The sun is shining um, and we've got some just incredible cars going up the runway. So uh, yeah, it's just, it's a fantastic feeling. Everyone is thoroughly enjoying the event. The atmosphere is incredible. You know, what inspired you to start this event back in 2019? Well, I've been, I've been, I've been running events for a long time in various countries in the Middle East and the US, um, and I've always wanted to own my own event. Um, I, I returned back after living in Dubai for seven years in, in 2017 and uh, started going to a lot of car shows with some friends of mine um, who are owners of some very nice cars um, and I realised that a lot of them are like static shows and people want to hear these machines, they want to smell these machines and they want to see exactly what they're capable of doing and um, I wanted to create um, an affordable way of doing it but with a family environment with lots of other things going on the side. So yes, you know, Supercar Fest is as much about the cars as the name and the brand says but um, it's cars and people for us and we bring families together to have a great day out enjoy the cars on the runway there's some great exhibitor stands and yeah and there's some great passenger rides as well for these guys so they get to go out ch a charity donation and experience these cars which a lot of people don't get to do in their lifetime <laughs> Day. Just went 
down the runway. Yeah. What was it like? It was fantastic. It's, it's great, and the wind would be in my hair if I had any. But um, no, nah, it's it's a fantastic experience, and the noise is just unbelievable. What can people expect to experience when they step inside the Charles and Dean tent? Well firstly uh, we have two very special cars here on the stand, Ferrari LaFerrari and the, uh, and the Lamborghini Aventador so hopefully that very much draws uh, plenty of attention. Now speaking of those two beauties in the tent, they're <coughs> extraordinary and it's brilliant because you can get up close and personal with these cars and actually see them for yourself. Now you are a sponsor here at Supercar Fest, what made you want to come back and sponsor this event? What makes it different from other events? It's felt very special over the last couple of years. I think what what Mark and his team have been doing and with what they've been working on over the last couple of years, you 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 know you're at the start of something really good. So you know we're we're the sponsor this year, and I, I hope to be the sponsor for many more years to come. We're sat here in the VIP 10. For our viewers out there at home, what are people able to experience when they come to the 10? Morning, Lucy. Um, well, I think for us, it's just about hosting our customers, you know, giving them an experience where they can get away from the noise and the action of the runway, and you know, giving somewhere that people can just relax and get a coffee and a, you know, come up. We've got some nice jewellery here today to look at as well. So yeah, it's just a little breakaway area, really. So. Relax. Look at jewellery and some awesome awesome cars that you have out the front. Now oh, you were just to the cars. Yeah. <laughs> you were just telling me about one of the cars to the side which sounds really interesting and um, that's available for viewers today. Well we've got lots of interesting cars up there but I think the one you mean is the 250 short wheelbase. It's modelled on a 250 Ferrari wow. um, but it's actually a brand new car and I think this is probably the first time it's actually been seen in the wild as it were. Now you were here last year, you're back again this year. What makes Supercar Fest so appealing? Well, I think for us, it's one of the only shows where people actually can see cars moving. There's a lot of static shows out there, and they're lovely, and we do a lot of those ourselves, but this one is just, there's more energy at this show than uh, anywhere else, and I think the buzz when the cars start, and even when they're crawling along, people get excited, and then when you see them flying down the runway, it's uh, really pretty special, I think. It really is. Yeah. Making the untouchable accessible here at Supercar <laughs> Fest. Thank you, Andrew. That's our pleasure. And stay tuned for more. Oh, about 60 miles per hour, I reckon. We're here with Ben Collins, aka the original The Stig. Ben, let's talk about the Stig first. How did you become The Stig? Well, there was an audition, um, so I, I turned up at a track with Andy Wilman, the executive yeah. producer who now runs the Grand Tour and with Clarkson and all that lot. And um, he timed me for a, a lap or two in, in a Ford Focus. So I hooned it around there as quick as I could, and then he didn't tell me if I'd done good or bad or anything. He was, he was really sort of, you know, poker-faced. But I found out, I think it was about two months later, that I had the job. So I, they said, come in on Tuesday, and there was a white suit and a helmet, and I, I began the new role as the white stick. Fantastic. And what was it like when people actually started to realise who you were? You were more than just the stick. What was that moment like? Well, the moment the sort of identity slipped was um, was quite heart-wrenching because I saw it in the newspapers. My builder actually slapped the newspaper down and said, oh, it's in the paper. And that was um, that was a sort of a you know hard one. And in the end, though, it's been fantastic because yeah. I, I look back at that time, it was a unique moment in time and had eight amazing years working with those crazy people and made lifelong friends as well. Driving amazing cars, what a life! And um, then I got to go back into, you know, I suppose where I'd all started, which was in motorsport with, with Praga, 
um, and in making movies. So, um, so yeah, it's been great. Amazing. Now we're here at Supercar Fest. You've just gone onto the runway. You've raced the car behind us right now. What's it like here at the festival? I love Supercar Fest. It's, there's a huge variety of machinery. So yeah. um, actually, there was some traffic on the way in, but it's not your normal fare. I had an F40 in front and an Enzo, a Ferrari Enzo, a load of Porsches behind. So, you know, it's, it's great to see people loving it. They're enjoying themselves. Um, and uh, there's a really great atmosphere. And it's not just static because we get to hoon up and down the runway. So you get to see these cars in action, which is brilliant. So I took out the Praga R1, which is my race car this season. So I'm racing in the Praga Cup with Jay Morton. Um, we're having a great time. We had um, our first podium at the weekend. Well, wishing you and Jay all the best with the season ahead. And we'll look forward to see what you are driving next. Awesome. Thank you. room at Supercar Fest and as you can hear you've got plenty of stuff going on in the background. I'm here with the owner of Silverstone Auctions, Nick Whale. Nick, tell us a little bit about what is happening. We're very excited to be here, we're very proud to be a part of the event. Uh, today is auction day, Saturday. So this morning we start with the automobilia, which is what you can hear in the background. Really what we're trying to do is to make an opportunity so that everybody can be involved in the auction. Yeah. And we cannot ignore the fact that we are sat in one of your beautiful cars right now. So talk me through this vehicle. Okay, so this is one of 85 cars we've got here in the auction. Uh, we happen to be sat in the most expensive, but with a glamorous lady like you, we had to choose the, we had to choose the best car, didn't we? And so this is a Maserati. There used to be a, a lady actress and model called Diana Dawes who walked into the motor show, saw this on the stand at the Earl's Court and said, I have to have it. So she was the first owner of it, wow. which is quite special. It's been beautifully restored by McGrath Maserati, who are the number one restorers here in the UK. And uh, it's been enjoyed by our vendor for a few years and it's here now to be sold. How incredible is that, that yeah. someone attending the event today could become the owner of this vehicle? Absolutely, yeah. Now this is your first time at Supercar Fest, so what was it about this event that appealed to you that you wanted to be a part of it? So we are aware that it started at Shelsley Walsh and uh, we're aware that its popularity took off very quickly and uh, they came here last year for the first time and I came down to have a look and thought it was a super event and thought we could definitely dovetail and fit in with that type of clientele. Chadwick, who is the winner of W Series. So Jamie, what is it like being here at Supercar Fest? It's amazing, my yeah, first time here. It's great to see so many enthusiasts, car enthusiasts out and about and yeah, enjoying what's to be offered. And they love the fact that they're having the opportunity to meet you here at the Hankook stand as well. Great. What got you into motorsports? My older brother actually, I started in go-karts and he was the one that started before me, so just I guess sibling rivalry and following him into it. Um, and then yeah, just went from there really. I just loved it and was able to kind of progress through and yeah just take all the opportunities and fortunate enough to be able to now compete at W Series. And what is it like being a role model for so many women in motorsports? Um, I think the sport is so open to having women involved that I want to encourage as many young girls to get involved in the sport in all roles of, of the sport and yeah just I'd love to see more women at the top level in motorsport. Brilliant well we're all wishing you the best and looking forward to seeing you race. Recently, over the past few months, been building uh, Liberty Walk Aventador Special Edition. The customers flying in today to see it, reveal it for the first time. I mean, yeah, what a great event. To reveal it at Supercar Fest has just been amazing. You know, great coverage and, yeah, it's, it's a lovely piece of art, really.
delighted to be joined by Luke Alabone, who is the director of Michael Jones Jewelry. So Luke, how has the event gone so far? Because you're here on a much bigger scale than you have been in the past year. Yeah, we were here last year and just saw the potential of how lovely the cars were, the people, and we've got some amazing things to show. We have a, um, two outlets in Northampton, but we thought if we could bring it here on a bigger scale, people will see just how nice the jewellery is. You've got to be quite particular on what you choose. Um, amongst the towers we have here at the moment, we probably have about £3 million pounds worth of jewellery. So it's which pieces you pick, because you can bring everything. There's so much variety. We pick particularly Fabergé jewellery because the name, the beautiful sort of engineering. We've got high-end Italian jewellery called Foppe, which is beautiful. And then Krieger, Hans Krieger from Germany, which is this diamond jewellery around here. And some of these pieces are phenomenal. the runway has been an incredible event. I've seen and heard some of the most amazing and expensive cars in the world. It's been a huge success and we can't wait to see what they pull off next year. I'm Lucy Norris, signing off. Thank you for watching.